Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Monthly Tarot Reading, December 2019, and uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Oops, sick. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month here is going to be the Seven of uh, Wands, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the month. That will be the Two of Cups. The third one uh, which stands for the guidance, or it's not guidance but intentions, that's... Um, well, I will say that way, the best way, how you can um, tackle with the endeavors throughout the month. That will be the Queen of uh, Wands, followed by the third card here, representing the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month of December. And the last one, uh, it refers to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. That will be the Six of Cups. Okay, so uh, Seven of Wands, in your case, as a, a topic, is going to be catalyzed by the Seven of uh, Swords. And we do have an active uh, friends in this particular position. <laughs> so uh, the topic is going to be where you attend to very important things. Very important stuff are going to happen to you through the month of uh, December. Things that you have hoped for to happen to you for a very, very long time. It could be the decisive job you want. It could be, you know, the decisive relationship that you want. Very decisive and important life-changing things that are to happen to you throughout the month of uh, December. The problem is going to be that not everybody is going to be agree with you. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, there will be quite a lot of an opposition here from your family, for example, from your friends. Um, <clears throat> it could be as well from your co-workers, from your boss, if you will. And uh, this, uh, how do I say it? This, op this opposition is not going to be in a bad way. It's going to be more like a, a tempting kind of an, an opposition so just to give you an, an example you found a better job than this one <clears throat> and you're share and, and you're saying to your boss that you have found a, a better place for yourself you know and you want to go there and they immediately raise your salary you know they say okay if you stay here i'm gonna raise your salary so it's like a tempting uh, opposition through a tempting you okay to stay in the same place and not to move to the next one now unfortunately i cannot give you the right answer here should you go for it or should you not go for it but the thing is that uh, with those two cards um, <clears throat> you should uh, always go for what you want okay uh, with those two sevens because they represent the uh, how do i say it the divine the, the spiritual 
evaluation number seven it's about spiritual evaluation more or less okay and you always need to seek you know where you are gonna grow spiritually with uh, those two cards but above everything else um, <clears throat> this month of December is gonna be saturated with decisive moments that you have to make a split-second decision uh, in them and that decision will always need to be made in regards to your own personal will and personal wish rather than to sacrifice yourself for something else or for someone else for that matters and the decisions are going to be tough to make okay I I'm not going to lie to you guys at some of them you can be torn apart from within, I mean, not from people aside, you know, but from within. So very difficult. It is a difficult month. It is a productive month, but it is a difficult month for you, Cancer, because you will you will have a lot for you to handle. All right. Now, the next card, it stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. And this is going to be the two of uh, cups accompanied with the ten of of pentacles so two challenges uh mainly first of all first challenge here it is to maintain the good term with those that you are departuring from or detaching from that is the first thing so you have to stay friends for example with your previous co-workers if you go for a new job if you decide to end your relationship you you have to do whatever you can to maintain friendship with uh, your so-called x all right and so on and so forth so you need to maintain the good terms once again with whatever you decide to walk uh, away from if you decide to walk away from now the other challenge uh, for with those two cards is that we definitely have a, a previous romance coming around uh, these two cards are very strong about it they speak that someone that you had a emotions a mutual emotions together and use part ways are gonna try to uh, re-enter into your life and the challenge here as it stands it is to test this person are they worthy for your trust or not before you allow them to come again or okay or to take part in your life once again uh, one more thing here, it is that you are going to find it uh, challenging to, how can I say it, um, to socialize with new people, okay, to um, traverse the distance in between you and someone else um, that it is a new to your social environment and especially if we're talking about romance here. In, in other words, it will be challenging for you to trust someone new in your life. So for future, uh, if you are single and um, such opportunity arises for you to uh, create a relationship, that thing should happen very, very slowly. For a reason being is that you can't get used with trusting that person before you actually allow them to take a significant part in your life. So the other uh, card here represents the um, intentions or how you should tackle with all that and we do have the queen of wands uh, accompanied with the eight of swords we do have an active friends in this position very strong combo first of all it does look like that you have that you are um, going to be how can i say it with very strong presence presence that uh, when people get caught in they will not be able to walk away freely very mesmer mesmerizing if you will so in other words if you attract a certain person romantically it will be very difficult for them okay to, to to simply forget about you or to stop thinking of you and so on and so forth and therefore intentional wise you need to um, make use of a, a such attraction that comes around additionally to that it looks like that you are going to have a, a very uh, acute business sense throughout this uh, month as well so it's not excluded that there are going to be those business ideas that are coming into your head and uh, intentional wise you should try to find a way how you can incorporate those ideas into your current business environment as well but above everything else with those two cards you are going to have um, increased understanding into the human nature 
but uh, into the human nature in a way where you will know the pros and the cons in one individual and intention wise you need to make use of it as well so um in other words with the queen of um sword uh, with the queen of wands to the eight of swords uh intention wise just to summarize all that guys if you have to accept the truth that um, you are a person with a strong presence and high influence and you need to make use of both and become a leader okay intentionally you need to or you should become a leader of someone or of something throughout the month of december and the other card here represents the uh, uh the lesson that you are to learn that is going to be the temperance with the tree of wands a very good combination actually we do have an, an active supporters in this position and uh you're gonna learn that everything has its way it's as simple as that it's what those two cards are pointing that there is nothing that cannot be done there is nothing that cannot be achieved because you know like uh in this sentence everything has its price the same thing the same way everything has its way everything has its uh its weakness if you will and you're gonna learn those weaknesses okay you're gonna learn how to you're gonna learn how to win this person you're gonna learn how to establish a business for example you're gonna learn how to negotiate your way through you're gonna learn how to challenge yourself and to go for a bigger growth higher standing um evaluation if you will because um as a lesson learned um you are going to learn that uh, you are actually sitting on a very solid patterns right now and you need to expand on those patterns how by you fixing on or put your fixation upon a higher goals bigger goals and finding the way how to once again achieve those goals because they are going to be very very achievable for you at least and the last card here represents uh, the um, energies that are to support you throughout the month we do have the six of uh, cups with the um, knight of cups in the traditional deck this card is represented by the king of uh but the king of wands excuse me so it's an, it's the knights of wands and it's represented by the king of wands and um <clears throat> those are very good energies we do have a, a passive enemies in this position and it means that you are going th those energies will help you to maintain your seriousness and your dedication as well instead of jumping and scampering from one thing to another okay you are going to uh, those energies will help you to uh, situate yourself to fixate yourself upon a certain goal and above everything else with those energies that it will be the goal you like physically and emotionally as well so uh, if i have to give you an example those energies will help you to find the person if you crave for a relationship that is to find the person that you are going to have emotional and physical attraction okay or to find the job where it will be pleasant for you to do it and you like what you do as well so those energies will help you to feel or will make you feel fulfilled throughout the month of december the, the only problem here it is the opposition from others your family like said maybe your friends your co-workers okay they may not want you to part ways with them which is understandable but at some point you simply have to so you can chase your own personal dream so that being said cancer this was your week uh, monthly excuse me tarot reading for the month of december i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then Bye.